The Pottery Dome has been a part of Mercer County for 16 years. After retiring from teaching at Grove City College, Lois Hamilton started the business. She and a family member are both ceramic experts. That expertise and passion inspired the design of the building. I had heard Buckminster Fuller speak, who designed geodesic domes, so we decided to look into it. Fuller was an original-minded inventor, architect, engineer, mathematician, and poet. He created the domes as a form of inexpensive shelters for the homeless. Hamilton works with Slippery Rock alum Rob Eisenberg. He is her on-site potter. He does a lot of research. His work gets better and better. And he thinks about his pottery a lot. He reads a lot. And he's been to some nice shows. Eisenberg creates all of the dome's merchandise, other than the hand-blown glass. He loves his job as a potter. You get to be creative and and uh, it's always fun opening up the kiln because you never really know what you're going to get, so that's always exciting. Rob is living a dream he never thought would have come true to him. Rob's artist and residence job at the Pottery Dome gives him freedom to create and freedom to spend time with his family. The job flexibility is, is really nice, especially with, like I said, with little kids. I get to do a lot more uh, with them than I think a lot of people I know that have little kids and regular jobs, so that's a big bonus. Rob is at the Dome from 10 to 5 daily, mixing, molding, and painting orders for customers, along with making general merchandise for the shelves. The Pottery Dome is open six days a week and also holds an annual open house on the second Saturday in December. Reporting from Mercer County, I'm Angela Tucker for the County Line.